Hey everyone, Mohan here. Welcome back to Chetana Pixel. Today we are going to work with real time financial unstructured data. By end of this video, you will learn how to write if conditions, clean, structure, and even automate the processing of unstructured financial data using Power Query. Let's jump right in. We have the financial statement report for the company Chetana Pixel. So we are going to transform this unstructured data into a proper tabular format using the Power Query. So let's start now. I'm going to close this notepad file. Go back to Excel. Click on data. Click on get data. And from file, select from text or CSV. Either you can click on this option or you can directly click on this option. So these both does the same job. Select the financial statement, click on import. This preview window has automatically detected colon as a delimiter. So I don't want to apply any delimiters here. We are going to perform all the steps on our own so i'm going to select tab here when we select the tab here there is no tab delimiter hence all the data will be into one single column click on transform data at first we need to extract these section names into separate column for this go to add column click on custom column let the column name be as it is if text starts with column 1 comma section space close bracket then text dot after delimiter open bracket column 1 comma the delimiter is colon close bracket else null so what does it do if any cell is starting with a section then it will extract text after the delimiter that we specified colon or else it will update as null since there are no syntax errors i am going to click ok so now this second column is added with the section names you can see the first one is balance sheet assets the second one is balance sheet liabilities the third one is income statement revenues and so on so i need to fill down these section names to the down for this right click go to fill and down this option will fill down all the section names now we have to add another column to identify the header Wherever the header is started, there we need to update as category. Under that category, we need to update all these section names. For this, click on custom column. Let it be the column name as it is. If text starts with column 1, the text is account space and pipe symbol account space and pipe symbol then we need category as the column header or else custom column since there are no syntax errors i am good to click ok now, if you look at this second column that we added, wherever the headers are found, there it is updated as category. Below that category, all these section names have come. Now, we need to remove till row number 7. For this, go to Home tab, click on Remove Rows, Remove Top Rows, Update 7, click OK. The first 7 rows will be removed from the data. Now we need to split all this data with a pipe delimiter. Right click, split column by delimiter. 
so delimiter is pipe symbol is automatically identified now click ok now the first column is split into multiple columns now we need to take the very first row as headers to our data so for this under home tab click on use first row as headers now the very first row became our headers now we need to eliminate all these nulls along with this header account name this account name account description credit debit are repeated multiple times for each section right so we need to eliminate them click on account name remove null so since we are under account name column so i am going to remove the account name so that all account names will be removed from the data so we are going to move this category to very beginning so right click on the category move to beginning category column came to very beginning and then we need to send this data now to our excel click on close and load select close and load to now you can load as table or pivot table report or pivot chart or only create connection now i am going to take only table instead of new sheet i am going to take existing sheet then click okay now the data has come in a neat formatted and well structured tabular format now i have both formats the raw format and the structured format open now you can clearly observe the difference between the structured format and the raw format how neat it is now let us test if you add any row to the data that will reflect into the table or not i am going to add a row here and save this and close it now if you look at this balance sheet assets we have only 10 rows let's see now right click and refresh now it became 11 rows you can see balance sheet and assets it became 11 rows as and when the data gets updated into the notepad file you can come here and refresh automatically the data will be updated into the excel format that's all for the video i hope you learnt in this video if conditions clean structure and even automate the processing of unstructured financial data using the power query request you to please like share and comment down your opinion on this video in the next video i'm going to explain how to create dynamic file paths in the power query thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video